Hey guys, it's me again. I'm back. I know I've been gone for a little while. Well, technically you won't know that I've been gone for a little while because I've been uploading, but I was gone for a little while because I got sick, so I had to take a moment and like gather myself and heal myself. However, I am back. For today's video, I think I wanna crochet a sweater. I really wanna crochet like a summer sweater, one that I can wear at night without getting too hot. And honestly, the perfect yarn for it just came right across my way. So I am gonna make this sweater. Before we get into the video though, you know I gotta take care of the housekeeping. Make sure that you're subscribed to this channel and also make sure you turn your notification bell on so that you can be notified every time I post because YouTube will not let you know otherwise. I'm sorry if I sound a little congested. I'm still a little stuffed up, but I have a little bit of energy back, so I'm definitely gonna get started on making this sweater. Um, before we jump in, this is not a tutorial because this is one of those videos where I haven't made this sweater yet. The sweater's in my head and I just... I'm gonna construct it. Guys, I'm sorry if my focus goes in and out on this video. This camera's focus is like so wonky and I can't keep stopping every time it goes out of focus. So I'm sorry if it just keeps going in and out, in and out, in and out. Anyways, I'm also gonna be going out of town in a few days and I don't know if I'm gonna be finishing the sweater before I go. So I might have to take you guys out of town with me like on the go and show you guys me crocheting on the go so I'm gonna be using this yarn that I got from we are knitters it's this cotton yarn in the color natural and honestly it's a very cute cream color and honestly this yarn is perfect because I really wanted to make a cream colored sweater but I only have ivory and white yarn on hand and all of us Fiber artists know that white, ivory, and cream are three different colors. So I'm really glad that We Are Knitters sent me this kit. Um, the kit they sent me originally had a pattern and a sweater to go along with that. However, the sweater is a little bit on the thicker side and it's summertime. So I decided to use this yarn and go in a different direction. They sent me six skeins of this cotton yarn, which honestly I think will be the perfect amount to make the sweater. I think honestly this sweater is probably going to use like four skeins so I'll probably have some left over which is fun because I'm really liking this cream color this summer so I'll be happy to have some extra so that I can make something else with this color. Yeah so anyways guys I am going to just jump right into making this sweater and I'm going to show you guys you know my progression along the way. I'm actually not sure if I'm going to be starting the sweater tonight because I'm actually really tired. I've been filming all day long so I think I will be starting the sweater tomorrow, but regardless, we're starting the sweater. Okay, let's get to it. So it's been about a week. I've been staying with a friend and I've been like on a little mini vacation if you want to call it that. I wanted to film the update on my camera but my camera won't turn on for some reason so I will update you guys if I can get my camera to work. I'm going to show you guys where I am with the sweater. I haven't been recording my progress because y'all know me, I be forgetting to record, but I am gonna show you where I'm at. So I have the two front pieces done, and this piece right here is the back. I decided not to make the back a separate piece and sew it after. I decided to just keep the like pattern going and continue and let the back like flip over. I am gonna be doing like a ribbing, and I still have to get the sleeves done, and this project once again, like all my other projects, is taking much longer than I thought it was gonna take. Don't be shocked. You're shocked? You're shocked? But also, I've been taking several breaks, so, you know, you guys know. This is where we're at with it. And honestly, I'm loving it so far. I'm thinking about doing like a collar and some ribbing at the ends of the sleeves when I get those done. But, you know, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to that bridge. Hey 
Hey guys, so I'm back at home and I was about to get started on the sweater again and just jump right back into making the sweater. But honestly, my desk is so sloppy and messy. I really need to clean my desk. The more I look at it, the sadder I get. So this is my way of holding myself accountable. I will not be working on this sweater until I clean my desk. So I figured I might as well, you know, make some content out of it. This is what we're working with. It's so much yarn everywhere. I got these jeans for my little sister that honestly don't even need to be in there. But yeah, we have some finished projects here that I'm pretty sure I already uploaded the video about. Um, and we have a ton of yarn to wind up and put away. I don't know what's going on with this autofocus, guys. I'm going to have to, like, Google how to fix this autofocus because, look at it, it's doing it again. I, I just can't, I can't take it, but... Yeah, let's get started on this cleanup. Okay, so your girl has cleaned her desk. Oop, ignore that. That's a package that I have to send out. But yeah, it's... It's not perfectly clean, but it's organized and that's all that matters. So now I get to crochet. Um, so by now we should all know that the lighting in my living room isn't the best. And I honestly, truly do not feel like getting up and going to the other side of the room to get my ring light. So this is what we're working with today. I'm going to show you guys how far I've gotten with the cardigan. All right, well, this, this is just going to have to work. Anyways, um... I'm going to show you guys how far I've gotten with the cardigan and this is what, this is where we're at. Um, I think I may have already explained that I did the two front pieces and I also attached the back piece because I didn't want to do it separately. I wanted to do it all in one. So this is kind of what it's giving. Can't see it, but that's the back and this is the front. I'm just going to continue working on the back and I think that's up for the update. for a long time um it is like eight o'clock now earlier it was about four o'clock so i've been working on this for four hours just about i cooked you know oh i got the tv going on in the background sorry but yeah i cooked i walked my dog y'all know the deal gotta run some gotta do some important things in between but i have now finished the body of the cardigan and it took way longer than i thought it would but when does it not, you know? I'm tired of this, Grandpa! That's too damn bad! When does crochet not take way longer than you think it would? So, here's what we have so far. Here's what it looks like up close. I think I'm doing a pretty good job. So, yeah, my brain is pretty much fried at this point from working on this for so long. But we are going to start on the sleeves tonight. We sure are. I left some holes for the sleeves so that I don't have to attach them afterwards. Hopefully, I'll just be able to continue the little pattern I got going on around the sleeve hole. Oh my god. I am tired. That is a pretty nice fit, if you ask me. I still have to do the ribbing afterwards, and of course, but... I like the fit of this. All right, you know what? I am doing a good job. I am doing a good job. So yeah, we're just gonna get started on the sleeves now. And I have been taking notes. I don't know if you can see that, but I've been taking notes to make sure that I can write a pattern for this sweater as well. So yeah, be proud of me. Tell me that you're proud of me in the comments. That's all I have to say for now. I keep bending down because my camera's low. But that's all I have to say for now, and I'm going to start on the sleeves, 
and yeah that's all oh great look at that my battery is dying of course it is oh jesus well hey guys i am hold on let me fix this camera i am checking in again i have finished one sleeve since we've last chatted in that clip literally two seconds ago i finished one sleeve i still have the other sleeve to do the ribbing to do, the collar to do, then the buttons, and then we're done. This is what it's giving so far. So I'm about to work on the next sleeve. It is Tuesday, so I'm hoping I can have this done by Friday. I'm actually hoping I can have this done by Thursday, but I'm giving myself grace and giving myself till Friday to have it done. My battery is literally dying and I don't know where my other battery is. So yeah, my camera's about to die. It's me again back in the darkness. It is now like two o'clock. It's exactly 2.03 in the morning, and I'm going to show you guys how far we've come. Um, I don't remember. I think I was telling you guys I completed the sleeve on the last clip, and now I'm like ha more than halfway done with the second sleeve. So it's just a matter of finishing the sleeve, doing the ribbing, doing the collar, putting the buttons on, and calling it a day. Honestly, I'm tired, y'all. It's 2 o'clock. I wasn't even supposed to work this late today, so... I'm tired and I'm clocking out, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. <sighs> so I'm just trying to stay calm. Just trying to be calm. That's, that's all. So... This is a few days later. I'm still working on this damn cardigan. Excuse my frustration. I am not getting out of quick sleep because I'm staying up all night trying to figure out how I want this cardigan to look. And honestly, it does not look bad at all. It actually looks really good. But this collar, this collar has been whooping my ass for the last 48 hours. I've done this collar over four times and every time it looks worse than the last time I did it. I'm so sick of your crap. Everybody is. Everybody's sick of what you put us through. And honestly, I, I'm thinking like just F the collar. Like F the collar and just keep it a collarless cardigan because I'm gonna show y'all what, <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all what this, this looking collar looks like right now. So, Obviously, it doesn't look terrible when, you know, you squint your eyes. But if you really pay attention, this side is higher up than this side. And this is 20 rows of single crochet. So y'all already know, 20 rows of single crochet takes a long time. And this, this is what we are working with. It was so sad as this side of the collar looks so good. But the button hole is right here. And guess who's not scrapping this to the point of this buttonhole so that I can make it lower. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I already had to do this ribbing over twice. I ain't doing this ribbing over again. So this is just gonna have to be a collarless sweater. And I'm gonna frog the collar and we're gonna see how it looks without the collar. And if I truly do hate it, then maybe I will go back and scrap it all, but not today. No ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am. Not today, not to freaking day. <sighs> Because the collar was coming out so nice and I just, it's uneven. It's viciously uneven at that. Like not even just uneven by one stitch. It's uneven by like eight stitches. I don't even know how I ended up doing that. Just That just lets you know how fried my brain is from working on this damn sweater. I've taken a few minutes to relax before I have a meltdown over the collar. At this point, I think the sweater looks cute like this. Like, honestly, the collar did give a nice touch to it. But honestly, I think the sweater looks fine without the collar. I love the long sleeve. I love the like balloon sleeve effect. I love the ribbing. It is sad that your girl could not get the collar done. And honestly, I'm tired of redoing it over and over again. I am going to write a pattern for this. And that's another reason why 
I, I'm giving up on the collar because if I can't get the collar right, I don't know how I'm going to expect y'all to get the collar right. So I am going to be writing a pattern for this sweater. And yeah, I just have to um, attach the buttons. I forgot about the buttons. So I'm going to attach the buttons now. But I'm done rambling. I'll see you guys in the next clip with the full fit. Okay guys, so as promised, here is the outfit with the sweater. I'm really just wearing a white shirt. I'm probably gonna wear the sweater off the shoulder since it's in 90 degrees. But here it is. Let's get this sweater on. All right. So guys, I just wanted to come back because I had forgotten to film an outro. But that's fine because I really wanted to talk more about how cute this sweater is. Like, I am very happy with how it came out. I'm perfectly fine with the fact that it no longer has a collar. Um, yeah, I'm perfectly fine. But anyway, so I forgot to film my outro, so this is me doing it now. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you watched this video all the way until the end, let me know if you would've went back and scrapped the ribbing to fix the collar, or if you're like me and when you get frustrated, you just say F it and move on. Um, if you were crocheting something while watching this, please let me know what you're working on in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to check out my website for my patterns. And don't forget to follow my other social media pages so y'all can see the tea because these videos low key come out way later then the projects are finished because you know i gotta finish the project take pictures edit record content edit that content it's a lot so if you want to see what i'm working on in real time i'd suggest you follow the instagram or the tiktok to stay updated on what i'm doing and yeah i think that's all i have for you guys so i will see you guys next time peace